This video shows the encryption feature of Bitdefender Gravity Zone. First, you need to go to Companies and choose your customer's company and activate the encryption on the Edit Company page and check the check mark Allow Company to Manage Encryption. Once you have activated the encryption on the customer, we log in on the customer account and we create a new installation package that does include the encryption module. So we go to package, we say add a new package. And as you can see now, there is an additional module listed called encryption. So we give the package a name, for instance, computers with encryption, and we choose the modules including the encryption module. Once we have created the package, we can either download the package or we can send a link to download the files to the endpoint to install the package. Alternatively, if Bitdefender has already been installed on the endpoint, we can go to the network, find the computer and reconfigure it to add the encryption module to it. So we don't have to uninstall and reinstall the package and the endpoint. So we see in here, there is no encryption on this computer available. The module has not been installed yet. So we simply select the computer, go to tasks, and then we reconfigure the client. We can now see the encryption module available and we choose all the modules that we would like to have installed on this specific endpoint. And click Save. Now a task is created to reconfigure this endpoint. We can look at that task and we see it's pending. After a while, you can refresh the screen and see if the client task has been completed. Here we can see it finished. So we can click on it and we see the task has finished. So the module now is installed on that endpoint. So we go back to that endpoint, verify if that indeed is the case. So we just click on the endpoint and on the protection. We do now see that the encryption module is installed, but it hasn't been activated yet. We're going to check now on the endpoint how it looks when you click on the Bitdefender endpoint client. And you see that in the general settings, it now has received the module. And if we go into the module settings, we can actually see the volume encryption is in there. The system is still unencrypted. So now we want to encrypt and we therefore create a new policy. So we go to policy, create a new policy. We name it, for instance, policy to encrypt computers. And in the policy settings, we go to encryption. We have to check the encryption management and then select encrypt. We save the policy and go back into the network to find that computer. We select the computer and in the menu choose assign policy. 
we make sure that the target is selected, which is that desktop PC, and we selected the policy to encrypt computers. And hit finish. Now, on the endpoint itself, you see that the user is prompted for a password. The password has to have at least eight characters, must contain upper and lower case, and should contain at least one number. So we create a password on the endpoint to encrypt it. And once we click Save, the computer starts the encryption process. We can see this in the dashboard of the endpoint that the encryption process has started. If we go back to the module, we see encryption is in progress. The same goes when we go back to the console. We can actually click on that endpoint and we will see on the protection that the encryption is now on and the encryption is in progress, meaning the computer gets encrypted. This process might take a while, usually around uh, one minute per 500 megabytes. So it can take an hour or more. Once it's done, you see on the endpoint, the encryption process has ended. And under the modules, it actually now shows under the volume encryption that the volume is encrypted. Um, the user could at that point change his password, but we won't do that right now. So let's go back to the console and check the settings on that endpoint in the console view. As you can see on the protection tab, we now show encryption on and on the C drive it shows encrypted. So let's go back to the actual computer that we've now encrypted and let's reboot that system to see the pre-boot authentication which comes up the moment the computer restarts. We're prompted to enter the password. If we enter the correct password, the computer will just start regularly and decrypt the drive so we can use it. If the user forgets his password, he can hit the escape key and it will display a recovery ID that in turn needs to be given to the system administrator. Let's look at it in the actual console. We select the computer, we go to the recovery manager and that recovery key ID that we've seen before on the actual computer needs to be given by the user to the administrator and he can enter that key. He needs to enter the admin password and it'll create a recovery key. Now this recovery key is needed by the user on the computer to unlock it. So we go back to the actual computer and enter that recovery key, hit enter, and now the computer will boot as normal. Alternatively, we can click on the computer and then go to protection and down on the encryption of the drive, we can just click on the recovery and it will fill in the recovery key ID of the endpoint automatically. So this is just an easier way of creating the recovery key. Once the system has been recovered, the user can go and change his password. So now, He'll remember it next time he reboots the system. Now there's different reports that can be run for encryption. For instance, there is the encryption status of the endpoints. If you run the report, we'll get a listing of all endpoints that are encrypted. And it shows us the endpoint name, IP, 
shows us that it's compliant and if we hit the actual volume summary control we will get a detail about the volumes on that system we'll see if it's encrypted and we actually also see the recovery key id on that screen as well if we go back to the dashboard we can add a portlet where we see how many compliant and encrypted devices we have we can just then simply click on it to get more information now let's talk about decrypting a drive again we basically have to add just a new policy again so we're going to call this policy now policy for decrypting the computers and we again choose encryption we activate the encryption management and select decrypt we save this policy we go back into the network find our endpoint that is encrypted and simply select it assign policy and choose the policy to decrypt the system make sure to select the target and finish when we go back to the endpoint we now see that the volume decryption has started so the volume gets decrypted in the module view we also see that the decryption is in progress the same goes in the console on the actual endpoint we can see on the protection that now decryption is in progress again this might take a while once it's finished on the endpoint itself you can see that the decryption process has ended successfully so now the actual volume is unencrypted back in the console view on the system on the protection we also see now that the system is unencrypted please keep in mind that as long as the encryption module is installed on the endpoint it does require a license so if you want to free up a license please go back to the endpoint go to task and reconfigure and only choose the modules that do not include the encryption to basically uninstall that module and free up that license again thank you for listening